Hey, it's Corey Grant, One Star Director with Planet Marketing, and I am here to talk about Plan B. Now, many of you probably have seen my post on Facebook, Instagram, you know, maybe, maybe you've seen a video or two that I've done or a Facebook Live, but now it is actually time to seriously talk about Plan B. Maybe you didn't take action before because you were too busy, or maybe it was, I don't have the startup costs. But now, it's time to seriously figure out what is it that you can do to get yourself started in the travel industry. Oh no, travel is going out of business, you might say. No, actually, travel is on the come up. And here's the reason why. I'm gonna give you some insight as to how wealthy people think and how they take care of themselves and they benefit from every, every situation. Now here's something I need you to think about. Over the last week, at least at the time of recording of this video, everybody's been sent home from their jobs, or most people sent home from their jobs, they're teleworking, or unfortunately, in a lot of cases, they've been laid off, right? Depending on what your job is. So now they're just waiting for their employer to call them back. Meaning their employer is controlling their ability to live. Because months ago, you decided a plan B was too expensive or a plan B was something you didn't have time for. Now I need you to understand that your employer really does not care about you that much. In some cases, yes, they may give you some money uh, to hope you get by, but I've heard that this coronavirus pandemic could last all the way up into April. So we're talking, I don't know, five months from now, maybe six months, you know, just depending. This is not something that has an exact timeline or deadline date. If this thing lasts for five or six months, you need to figure out what your plan B income is going to be. Now, I can tell you one thing for sure about this industry. We've survived Ebola. We've survived SARS. We've survived H1N1. We've survived Zika. Pandemics come about every couple of years. So this is nothing new to the travel industry. Yes, the vendors are taking a huge loss right now. But the government also knows that the travel industry is the largest industry in the world. And just like um, the banking industry, it's too large to fail. People will have places to go and need to get somewhere as soon as the all clear is given. And when that happens, guess what? I'm teaching my agents how to capitalize on the movement of people because they're going to be tired of being cooped up in the house. They're going to be tired of looking at their family and their kids in their grill every single day. And they're going to be ready to go on a vacay. If you think they wanted to go on vacations before coronavirus, they are really going to want to go on vacation after this. Once the all clear comes and they know it is safe to get in the air, the issue's not going to be whether you're sitting in Punta Cana or whether you're sitting in Cancun or whether you're sitting in Montego Bay. Most people are just afraid to get on the airplane and go somewhere. Once that all clear is given, trust and believe. Flights will be packed and resorts will be jam full because the deals are coming. Matter of fact, the deals are here now. If you're a travel agent already, then you already know. We're getting our inbox filled up every day with vendors sending us special promos. The longer this goes on, the promos are going to get greater and the prices are going to get smaller. There's nobody in the world that does not want to travel for cheap. And I even hate to say the word cheap, but they're going to be cheap. This is where you need to position yourself to take advantage of that. I'm going to say, plain and simple, you need to get with me and understand how the travel industry really works. This is not one of those things, as your friends might say. I've been in this game for years. We are certified travel agents, and I'm taking this opportunity while we're, while we're teleworking, while we're off, while we have time uh, to just get even more certifications. You're going to have the opportunity to get unlimited training and unlimited certifications while you are figuring out what your next move is going to be, while you're figuring out how much your employer is worried about your well-being over the next few months. This is the time before you run out of money. Maybe if Trump gives you that thousand dollars, you're going to have a way for the federal government to help finance your ability to get started in a new business. But the longer you wait, the longer your opportunity to earn money will be. These are trying times. These are different times. 
if you went through the federal government furlough almost uh, a little over a year ago, people were struggling. Not just the employees, not the federal employees, but the people who serve federal employees, right? The, the um, restaurants, the diners, the bars, the happy hours. All of those folks were struggling because guess what? Two million federal employees were not working and they were not spending money. Thus, all the people that depended on that, those two million people weren't working or spending money. And it was a trickle down effect. Coronavirus is doing the same thing, except now it's not just federal employees, but it's federal and private employees who aren't going to work, who aren't buying coffee, who aren't buying sandwiches, who aren't buying dinner, who are not going to go to happy hour now because all those things are closed down. But when the all clear is given, it's going to be on and cracking. Let's take the time now so I can show you the right vendors to use to maximize the most money, to maximize the best bookings, to give your clients the best bang for your buck or best bang for their buck. And then you're going to have lifetime clients, return clients, and people who want to use your services for years to come. This is going to be the time that your life can change for the better, even though coronavirus for most people seems to be the worst. I could talk about this all day online, uh, but I'm going to just give you guys the opportunity to reach out to me. Let's discuss this opportunity. Let's discuss your options and let's figure out what we can get done for you. This is it. 2020 can still be your year. Let's make it happen. I'll see you at the top because the bottom is way too crowded.